Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, before I start the tutorial, I am going to very quickly uh, and briefly introduce myself, who I am, who I play for, how long I've been playing for and so on. Um, my name's Nav, I'm 17 years old and I've been playing for Wanstead Cricket Club for 10 years now. I'm an all-rounder who bats anywhere in the top 5 and bowls some offspin. Um, I started playing with Wanstead when I was 7 years old, uh, played with tennis balls and wind balls for the Ducklings and then had my first hardball experience with the Tigers and then with the Lions. Um, I played my first men's game for the sixth team and then slowly moved my way up into the fifth team, then the fourth team and now I'm currently the youngest player in the first team. So today I'm going to be going through the forward defence and the forward drive. I'll first start off by talking about when you play the shot, how you play the shot and then move into the technique and then finally some drills that you can do in your garden. All you will need is a tennis ball, a bat, a bit of free space and you're ready to go. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so I'm very quickly going to go through the stance. Um, your stance needs to be relaxed. You want to be nice and relaxed at the crease. And um, the purpose of the stance is so that you are able to move in any direction when you are facing the ball. So you don't want to be in an awkward position in your stance. Um, you want to be in a position where you are able to move in any direction, either forward or back. So I'm very quickly going to go through what the basic stance should look like. So you want your feet to be uh, shoulder width apart, okay? You want your knees to be slightly bent, okay? You want your eyes to be parallel to the ground, right? And you want your butt either on top of first thumb or towards first slip, okay? And you don't want it to be tense, okay? You want to be nice and relaxed, okay? And you want to just keep your eyes parallel to the ground and be nice and relaxed at the crease, okay? Now if you aren't able to understand what I'm saying or struggling to keep up, I'm actually going to be writing some bullet points at the bottom of the screen somewhere, so make sure you read those as well. The first drill I'm going to be going through with you guys is on how to master the forward defence. Now I'm quickly going to talk about why you play the forward defence and when. When you first go into bat, defending the first couple of balls is a really good way to get your eye in. You can use these first couple of balls to really assess how the pitch is reacting and then make decisions on what shots you want to play. Now, this does not mean that you cannot play the forward defence later on in your innings. If you face a good delivery and there's a chance of you losing your wicket, you can always play the defence to keep that ball out and then score on later balls. Now, I'm quickly going to go through how to play the defence and the key points. Okay, so for the forward defence, this is what you want to do. You want to go into your stance as usual, nothing different there. Okay, nice and relaxed. You want, to take your, you want to take your front foot and place it next to the pitch of the ball, like so. And also, you want to rotate your front shoulder so that it's going towards the direction of where the ball is. So, if the ball is pitching there, I want to place my front foot here. And also, as you can see, my shoulder my front shoulder is pointing towards the direction of the ball. And once you have done this, all you need to do is place your front foot and gently bring your back down. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it looks like from side on. Notice how my head is on top of my front knee. This is crucially important because then it tells you that your weight is fully transferred forward and none of it is sitting back. Also, notice how I'm not pushing at the ball. I'm, li I'm really just bringing my back down and in reality the ball is going to come to me. I'm not pushing at the ball. This is also very important because this reduces the chance of you snaking the ball and getting caught behind. You're just bringing it here rather than doing this. Also, if you look at the angle of my back when defending, you can see that it's 45 degrees to the ground. This is so that when the ball bounces and hits your bat, it goes straight down to the ground rather than going up. And that's how you play the forward defense. Now, for the first drill, what you want to do is, right, 
get in your stance. Imagine where the ball is pitching, either place a ball there or use a cone. You want to get into your stance. Okay. Do your first movement. So you shout out one. You say one. Okay. So you're, you make sure in your number one, your foot is next to the ball and your front shoulder is, ra is rotated. And then for number two, you place your back down. And here is when you check your head is on top of your front knee and your back is at an angle. So if I was to do this in one motion, this is what the drill would look like. One, two, and go back. One, two, and then do this for five to ten minutes, and that's how you do drill one. Okay, so something that I forgot to mention um, is that in this drill, once you call out number two, so one, two, I would like you to hold your shot for a minimum of three seconds. So for like this, one, two, one, two, three, and then go back. Now the reason for this is, is because if you're able to hold your shot for a minimum of three seconds, it tells you that you are well balanced. Now for instance, if you're not able to hold your shape for three seconds and you find yourself falling over it tells you that your body is not in line and the main reason for losing balance is your head and I'm going to show you here one two one two three so as you can see I've lost balance and the main reason for that is is my head one two you can see that my head is falling towards the offside Hence why I'm losing balance. So if you find yourself losing balance, just make a constant effort in bringing that head forward rather than falling over to the offside. Okay, so for drill two, you're going to need some cones, um, a few more tennis balls and an assistant. So I'm going to be using my sister. You're going to be going in your stance and you want to place those cones one meter away from you so that there's a, a one meter radius from where you are and the cones. And the reason for this is because when your assistant underarms you the tennis balls, you want to be defending or you want to make sure the ball doesn't leave the arena. This will tell you whether you're playing with soft hands and whether you're letting the ball come to you. If the ball manages to leave the arena, that means you're playing with two hard hands and you're possibly going towards the ball rather than letting the ball come to you. So for me, one meter away is where the grass starts. So I'm going to get into my stance and they just need to underarm it to you. So she underarms it to me. You can see how the ball doesn't even go one meter. It goes maybe half. And go again. See over there, you can see I played with slightly hard hands. Now this is what you no don't want to be doing. As you can see there, although it may have looked like my bat was back here, it actually went there and then came back. This is wrong because I'm playing with two hard hands and I'm pushing at the ball. If the ball is swinging in a game, chances of me edging the ball are really high and I can then lose my wicket. So just one more. It may also be a good idea after you've played the shot to make sure that everything is in position as it was meant to be in drill one. And that's how you do drill two. Okay, so now that we've mastered the forward defence, the next step is on how to master the forward drive. Now, I'm quickly going to talk about why you play the forward off drive. Now, the reason you play this shot is because the bowler has pitched the ball slightly further than he wanted to and you can take advantage by driving it, potentially scoring a boundary or for a couple of runs at least. Now I'm going to tell you how to play the forward drive. So, a very key point of the forward drive is that forward drive is only an extension of the forward defense and this is what I mean by that so if this is my forward defense this is my drive but all in one motion obviously so I'm going to go into slightly more detail on how to play with forward drive 
Just like the forward defence, you want to take your foot and place it next to where the ball pitched. But since the ball is slightly further up than what it would be if you were defending, you can take a slightly smaller front foot stride. Just like the defence, you also want to take your front shoulder towards the direction of the ball. So if the ball is pitching there, I'm just going to use my imagination, I would do this. Now, something I didn't mention in the defence is that when I take my stride, I want to make an effort in bringing my back back. And the reason for that is, if my back comes down from here, then I'll have a larger back swing and more power into the shot. So, what I want to do here is, when I take my front foot and shoulder towards the ball, push my back back here rather than it staying down here. So, if I count to one like I did in the first drill, it would be like this. One, so back, my back is all the way back here. And two, just swing down in a straight line. And then hold your shot for three seconds. One, two, three. Finish up. And then get back. One, two, one, two, three, and then finish up. And just do that for five to ten minutes. Okay, now for drill four, we're going to be putting the forward drive into practice with tennis balls. You don't need an assistant, just yourself is fine. You're going to want to be in your stance and make sure you hold the bat with your left hand and the ball in your right hand. This is because the drive is a, a a top hand dominant shot so you want your top hand to be stronger than your bottom hand remember when driving and both defending the key to playing with soft hands is loosening your bottom hand you don't want you don't want to hold it really hard okay and even with driving youngsters normally get really uh, tricked into believing that holding it really hard with the bottom hand is going to bring more power into the shot in fact holding it really hard with the bottom hand is only going to make the drive even harder so what you want to do is loosen the bottom hand okay and tighten the top hand so hold the bat in your left hand and the ball in your right okay you want to get into your stance you want to drop the ball to about where you would think is a over pitch delivery and you want to wait for the second bounce and as soon as the ball bounces the second time you want to drive okay so one bounce two bounce and you want to hold your shape one two three and finish it off remember if you find yourself falling over then it's main is probably because your head is falling over too and again so drop it one two okay so that ball was slightly to my leg so i played an on drive instead but we will talk about the on drive in another video you want to pitch the ball probably around the offside area so one more one, two, and hold your shot, and then finish off. And that's the fourth drill on how to master the forward off drive. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Remember, this is just a very, very basic tutorial. I haven't put much detail into it because I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, in case you guys couldn't hear me clearly or I was going too fast, at the bottom of the video I did write some bullet points as you must have seen so make sure if you want to write them down somewhere so that it's fresh in your memory you can look back at it or something like that it will be good also if you find that you're recording yourself and then comparing it to my video and that you see it looks slightly different just remember everyone's technique is different so no batsman will look the same so your technique might be slightly different to me and you might look slightly different but that does not mean that you're doing it wrong you might be doing it perfectly and you might also be doing it better than me okay so just because it doesn't look identical to me it does not matter it's whatever works for you so make sure you stay busy during this tough period and um, I'm going to be putting my email somewhere here so if you have any questions or queries make sure you do send me a message and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you guys again bye bye